When learning to do glide reflections, it's really just a composition of a, a translation, which you learned the other day, and then a reflection, which you also learned. We're just going to put them together on the same graph. In class, this worksheet of four problems took us like 20 minutes, so you're going to need to pause and, and do these. But um, the first one, I just had them try it on their own. We didn't even work on it together. So step one, we're all going to plot these points and connect them so they make a triangle. So just get, get that done. I'm going to always do the originals in blue and the um, ghost one in green. And you'll see what I mean by ghost. And then the, um, the final image will always be done in pink. So it's helpful if you have more than one color. So there's our original triangle, and hopefully you all have that graphed. Next, we're going to um, translate. So we are going to use this vector. You must translate next. So we're going to shift this. As you know, all the points are going to get shifted 10 to the left, or back 10, and then up 5. You just use, here's the x portion, here's the y portion of your vector. So I'm going to take these three points and I'm going to scoot back 10 and up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you can do it by counting. So this is at 7, that's 7, 8, 9, 10, and up 5. Great. Or what you could do is this point here that is at 5, 3, if you remember. If we want to, let me erase all this, this point 5, 3, we could just add this vector to it and say, 5 and negative 10 is negative 5, and 3 and 5 is 8. So our new point, A prime, would be negative 5, 8. And if I go back 5 and up 8, lo and behold, it does look right. So you can do it by counting or by adding the vector. Now if you take a look, your blue and the green image should look like translations of each other. In the same position, just in another part of the graph. So that was step B. Then it says to either sketch or identify the line of reflection. And in this case, they said that, um, let's get our pink, because that's where we're going next. It's the y-axis. And since that's a bold line right here, we don't need to draw it in. We're going to reflect the translated image, the green one. Otherwise, why did we draw it? So we're going to use this now. I'm going to count three over and three over on this side. We count 5 over and 5 over on this side. Or, if you remember the rule for the y-axis, the only thing that changes is your x value. So this point that's over at negative 8, 1, when I reflect it over the y-axis, only the x will change and it'll become positive 8, 1. So however you want to do it works. And this pink image is your final image. So the original is the blue, and the glide reflection is the pink. The way you want to look at it is the green is kind of building a bridge. The blue and green are translations of each other. And then you're going to completely ignore this. You're going to pretend that this blue one isn't even there. And if you look only at the green and the pink, they do look like reflections of each other. And that's how it should be. So... Why don't we try this next one? Get the image, um, the original one, written, and then try translating it. Hit pause and um, try and get that done, and then draw in the line y equals x. See if you remember what that looks like. Go back and look at your notes if you need to. Hopefully you already have your translated image, but I'm going to scoot this back. We're going to go right two, we're going to be going down five. So if you can trace this, we're going to go right two and down five. We should be somewhere in this vicinity. So let's get that sketched out. Um, I'm going to do this one by adding the vector, simply because reflecting across this line, it's easier for me to have the coordinate points written. So I'm going to add two to all of my x's, and then I'm going to subtract five from all the y's. I'm going to get seven, we get 4, and we get 9. Then I'm going to subtract 5 from all of these. Negative 2, negative 9, negative 5. And when I get them graphed, 7, negative 2, went over 2 and down 5. 
and 4, negative 9. Okay. We need to reflect this over the line y equals x. And you need to remember what that line looks like. So um, we're going to get a bright orange. And we're going to make this a little bit heavier, and we're going to make a nice thick line. Remember, it goes from one corner of the graph to the other with a positive slope. So it's this line here. That is your mirror. So let's get our final image in pink, back to the normal weight. You could count this, but it is a little more difficult, and it's a lot farther from the line than I would like, because you could count one, two, three, four and a half diagonals, half, one, two, three, four on the other side. But it's far simpler to use the rule. Y is going to equal X, and X is going to equal Y. We're going to have them switch places. So our new points are negative 2, 7, negative 9, 4, and negative 5, 9. So if you get those graphed, up 9, negative 2, 7 was that one that we already did, and negative 9, 4. Whoops, that's 5. There we go. If you take a look, again, the pink should look like a mirror image of the green. The blue and the green are translations of each other. So that's your glide reflection. You can check out the next one. And the reason that um, I want to do this one with you is because of this x equals 2 fancy little line. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go get that bright orange. We're going to make sure we know where this line is, this x equals 2. We're going to start with the blue. Get your original one drawn. You don't need to wait for me. And then we're going to worry about translating. So you get that translated. And we'll worry about the reflection in about five seconds. All right, and now for the line x equals 2. If you can't remember, is it a vertical or is it a horizontal line? You're going to pick two points where x is 2. So I'm going to pick 2, 0 right here. And I'm going to pick 2, 1 right here. You can see that it is a vertical line. So we're going to draw this in nice and bold so we don't get distracted by the y-axis. And what we're going to do is we're going to now reflect over this line. There is a mathematical way to do it, but it's far more of a pain in the rear end than it would be to just count it. So I'm at this point right here. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. I'm five spots away from the mirror. So I need to go five spots on this side. And you're going to do the same thing with all the others. This one is quite a distance away, right? It's six, seven, eight. You're going to go eight away on this side, right? You are completely bypassing and ignoring the y-axis. So three, four, five. So, oh, whoops, we just did that one. This one is one, two, three. One, two, three. And here you have it. Whoops, if I could have drawn that better, it would have been awesome. There's your pink glide reflection. The last one you don't need to do. You weren't here in class. Don't worry about it. Um, but try out the homework now. It's going to be just like this. And if you were absent from reflections and translations, just use what we did here, except when it says translate, you're just going to do the one thing, translate. And when it says reflect, you're just going to do the reflection part. And one last note. I think on your homework, it says translate for numbers um, 3 and 4. Ignore that. It's all glide reflections. We'll see you in class.